Hello and welcome. My name is René Winkelmeier and in this video we're going to talk about how you can debug your Lightning Web Components. We all know the situation. You build an application, it looks great in your IDE, you deploy and something isn't working as expected. So in this example, here in our recipe sample application, I have a to-do list and when I click my checkbox, I expect to see only priority items, but I know that there are more items which don't have the priority checkmark set. All I can do now is I can go to my IDE and inspect my code and see if something obvious is there. But what I also can do is I can just debug the component here in my browser. We are currently in production mode, so the mode that every user is normally in. I'm just going to inspect the component and here on the sources tab, we can drill down into the component's JavaScript code. All Lightning Web Components are stored within the modules subfolder. So let's drill down into the to-do list. What you see here is the minified JavaScript code. This doesn't really help us for actually debug the component, but what we can do now is we can use the pretty print function over here to actually get readable JavaScript. So when we scroll down over here, we see the JavaScript code of our Lightning Web component. As it's minified, not everything is directly readable. So for example, variables that have a real name can become A, like in this case. Or the code gets optimized, like we have one long line of code, but that could be actually in your IDE, multiple lines of code. I'm setting now a breakpoint over here, and let's actually see what's happening. From here on, I can just inspect the values by hovering over the value. Like for this example, underscore to do's. What you see here is a JavaScript proxy. Every property that you annotate with add track, add wire, or add API is a JavaScript proxy. We use this mechanism to observe value changes, but also in the case of add wire and add API to prevent any data mutation. If I wanted to inspect this value now, I would have go to the handler over here, original target, and can then drill down. Obviously, as you can see, it's not really readable. Alternatively, you can go to the console and also use this to do's, which will give you the proxy object in the console where you can drill down or use something like JSON stringify to get actually a stringified version of this property. These are options how you can quickly debug in production mode. But if you want to do real debugging, you should use debug mode in your org. So let's check that out. On the right side, I have another org and within setup, custom code, lightning components, debug mode, as you can see here, you can enable debug mode for specific users. Once this is enabled, we are providing additional functionality for you to debug your lightning web components. So let's inspect this page. Again, we're going to sources, modules, opening our JavaScript file. We're directly pretty printing it. And when I scroll down to our filter to do with method, you see that it has changed. It is no longer minified and we are actually giving you the same JavaScript as you got it in your source code. Now, when I'm going to set breakpoints now here, and I'm going to refresh this page, you will see also an additional difference in debug mode. As you may remember, this value over here is proxied. Within debug mode, we're giving you the same value, but not proxied, so that you have directly access to the objects and properties you don't have to unwrap it or to JSON stringify it in console. In addition to unminified JavaScript, and to the unwrap proxies, we're also providing additional Lightning Web Component engine warnings on the console. So let's take a look at that. In debug mode, we are printing on the console any information where the Lightning Web Components engine detects any warnings or errors. As you can see here, we have an issue with our to-do list and we can directly drill into the formatted JavaScript code. Please note that also some of our own components currently print messages here. To get the best view, we recommend that you set the custom levels 
only to hide all because then you will see only the pure messages we can then still drill down into the source code if you make use of the functionality to pause on exceptions you may run into the situation that chrome dev tools will also pause on exceptions that are caused by our components to make sure that the debugger doesn't pause on those you can black box them Blackboxing is a functionality that is available for Firefox as well as Chrome. When you go to settings over here, you can use blackboxing and define regular expressions where we recommend that you exclude anything that is aura underscore prod in each R, as well as the whole components folder. With blackboxing, these JavaScript files, you will reduce the impact of errors that are not part of your components. While we have preferences, there's one thing to add. If you want to see the proxied values, those were created when you decorate a property with add track, add wire, or add API within debug mode as non-proxied values, you have to enable custom formatters over here within Chrome DevTools. This is not enabled by default. So what did we see? In production mode, you can debug your JavaScript, but it will be minified. So sometimes it will be hard to read. And you can inspect any value in your JavaScript, but decorated properties will be proxied. So you have to drill down or to JSON stringify them. Once you enable debug mode, you will get additional capabilities. JavaScript will be unminified. It will look like as it would be in your IDE. Proxied values will be visible as standard values, as standard objects, once you have enabled custom formatters in Chrome DevTools. And we're also providing detailed Lightning Web Components engine warnings that help you to optimize your code even more. If you want to learn more about Lightning Web Components, we have a trial mix for you, sforce.co slash LWC, where we provide more resources, hands-on projects on Trailhead, blog posts, and videos like this one. Thanks for listening and have a great day.